Friends, I have received a letter from the Beechwood Academy in Alsace. Our performances have impressed them. They'd like to compete with us at the next event. It's too early to take on a team like theirs. Their means are colossal. They are the great champion to boot. People say she's deadly. I heard they spent millions buying champion pedigree horses. I've heard rumors genetic research was involved. Frankly, Jade, I don't think it's a great idea. They said they put up their B team. In that case, it's visible. But it still won't be easy. It's an insult, Patrick. Just because we don't pack the financial cloud, they don't think we're worthy of their A-team. So I have accepted their invitation and laid down my conditions. If we beat the Bs, we take on the A's a month later. You should have consulted me, Jade. You're putting the whole academy in danger. If we lose, our sponsors will back out and we'll be forced to close. Birdie will be turning in his grave. Birdie would have wanted us to show them that money isn't everything, that determination is just as big. Never say lose. Never. That's what Birdie would have said. Anyway, Jade, we don't have the structure to host two teams in a season. They won't be coming here. We'll be going there for the winter. I really couldn't get used to my new environment. The village was amazing, so was the academy. But the harsh winter made training hard. It began to dawn on me why their team was so tough. Training in such extreme conditions increased their pain threshold. My form plummeted, and I became weak and snappy. Fortunately, the young director of the Beechwood Academy was there to listen to my woes. His school might have been intimidating and austere, but his personality was quite the opposite. He was unexpectedly kind and gentle, attentive and receptive. He understood the difficulties and the challenge in store. It was touching how he listened to me so patiently. These were the only moments I didn't feel the bitter cold. Unfortunately, Jade found out about our friendship and flew into a rage. I only found out why later. it's out of order their academy director won't show his face. They only sent some nitwit spokesman. Polite chap, but too much of a blabbermouth for my liking. The director is a busy guy. He has over business beside the academy and is running two schools in tandem. Can't be easy. I don't care. If you ask me, it shows zero respect. Just because he can't be bothered to say hi to the small Italian academy guys. Calm down, if we beat his reserves, he'll come looking, believe me. Why wait? If he won't come to me, I'll do the introductions myself. Oh, if it helps, I've heard his office is somewhere in town. Thanks, I won't be long. I have to find the way to the director's office. Officer, I need to get through. I have to go and see someone who lives down this street. Sorry, ma'am, the street is blocked. We're currently undertaking an important police operation. No offence intended, but your presence here is suspicious enough to refuse you access. Suspicious? Me? What makes you say that? Well, the only people to go out without a warm coat in this weather are idiots and criminals. I was in a hurry and I got waylaid. It happens, yeah? Well, maybe, but I have a nose for these things, and I know a suspicious face when I see one. Ah, the long nose of the law? Sorry? Nothing. I'll come back later. Right you are. I won't be going anywhere. I've got to find some way of making him budge. Hi again. Marvellous day, wouldn't you say? If by marvellous you mean the chest infection doing the rounds or the nagging cold and damp giving everyone the jip, then uh, yes, marvellous. Someone got out of bed on the wrong side this morning. Not at all. I have been dutifully at my post since very early today. With respect, I am in no mood for playing at being Mr. Happy. No worries. Have a good hibernation. See you later. Much later, I hope, Missy. Tough cookie he is. I'm going to have to be smart. Hey, that window 
has been left open. If I knew the right frequency, I could make a hoax alert using the radio in the car. Again? Nothing better to do? Listen, Christmas is here and my nephew's been dreaming of a walkie-talkie. I was wondering if I could take a look at yours. It's not a toy, miss. This high-tech device saves lives. But it's for Christmas, Mr. Officer. Policemen don't have to be hard-hearted. You promise to leave me alone later? Cross my heart. Okie dokie, here you go. You won't find these in the shops. Professional use only. I managed to note down the frequency. <clears throat> Calling all units. Robbery in the east of town. Backup requested immediately. Letterbox is open. I know that curiosity killed the cat and all, but... Oh no, tell me I'm dreaming. Me too. I'm talking feelings. Esteban, I, I really think that... Don't say it. I'd hate to see you leave after the competition. Me too. But I don't have the choice. Stay with my academy. Join the team. We could go so far. I can make you champion. We could be together. You'd have me on your team? I'm touched, but... It's simple. Just sign the papers and I'll take care of the rest. You mean this pack of lies? Jade, the blazer's all mine. Get back to the academy, young lady. And as for you, leave my pupils alone. My career isn't yours to rule. If I think a school's got better equipment, is run by someone I want to be with, and I want to switch there because it's good for me, there's nothing you can do. And that's exactly what I intend to do. You can't win everything, Jade. Fancy an apple? Go to hell. I've missed you, Jade, a lot. Get ready.